Asanteni sana. Tafadhali. Tafadhali tukete chini. Um, my sister Governor Gladys Wanga, the Governor of Homer Bay, ministers present, Ambassador Wickman, uh, governors who are present here, na watu wote wa Homer Bay hamjambo. Amoso ujadurua. Jadurua untie. Jadurua umor. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nyasae ber. Sejete. Asante sana. Um, I am delighted to join you all at this very special, highly appropriate and impressively organized event, which is inspired by the necessity to transform devolution beyond governance and sharing of resources into public service, the incubation of opportunity, facilitation of radical economic revival, and the enabling of prosperity at the grassroots. I want to confirm that seeing the theme of this investment conference, uh, unlocking the bay of endless potential, that we will not only be talking about endless potential, we will move potential to opportunity and we will move opportunity to investment. <laughs> Under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, the government of Kenya is committed to play its designated role in order to strengthen devolution as a fundamental constitutional mandate, but also because devolved units bring numerous opportunities for rapid economic growth into sharp focus. Further, our value chain approach to implementing better relies on strategic in in interventions to enhance or unlock productivity in sectors and industries at every county. In fact, the strategic pillars of better situate counties focal, as focal points of implementation, making them centers of action in our quest to transform the opportunity landscape in our country. As we have noted, our achievements so far bear clear imprint of intergovernmental collaboration. Since 2022, we have empowered farmers to increase food crop yields, as a result of which we have recorded successive bumper harvests, taking us closer to our vision of eradicating hunger in our country. And I was very pleased when I went through the um, displays here that uh, I saw farmers who are displaying what they have done in the space that we have worked with with the counties, especially on the distribution of fertilizer, good seeds, and Homer Bay County has been a great partner in food production in Kenya. In fact, I noticed that uh, on display was unga, two kilos at 150. And I remember showing Kaluma so that he stops making noise at me <laughs> about the cost of living. If there is a display of what government, county and national are doing with farmers on food security, we saw it firsthand here in Homer Bay, that farmers are doing something about food security in Kenya. Our community health promoters, young Kenyans who have transformed healthcare throughout our country are county-based healthcare servants of the people. And I was very proud to talk to one of the community health promoters here in Homer Bay County on what they are doing to transform our villages, especially on the subject of health. I am very happy that we are closing in. I think we are in the final stages of the public participation on the regulations that will operationalize our universal health coverage. 
And I want to thank members of parliament for being unanimous in making sure that the pieces of legislation went through parliament so that we can move our country to the next level on matters healthcare. And no citizen should sell their property anymore to pay for hospital bills, that we will have a framework that will ensure that every citizen can access health at every level and without having to be labor how to pay for it. Similarly, our affordable housing agenda has received a decisive impetus by the entry of county governments into partnership and collaboration. And if there is an example of a county where we have excellent collaboration between the national and county government on matters housing, it is Homer Bay County. This is one of the counties I came very early on last year to launch the construction of affordable housing. I am very happy that we are now discussing windows and shortly we will be handing over keys to occupants of affordable housing in, in, uh, in, in Oma Bay County. Let me also say that uh, apart from the units that are going on now, we have another 5,000 units of uh, affordable housing in Homer Bay County that have already been procured, and we will need approximately 15,000 young people in, in Homer Bay County to participate, to work in the housing program uh, here in Homer Bay. And I am expecting architects, engineers, quantity surveyors, um, plumbers, electricians, masons, carpenters, and many others to work in this site, young men and women from Homer Bay County. I am very happy and very excited that this is moving on and is moving our country in the direction of making sure that our young people have access to employment so that we can do this again together for the young people of our country. The, the digital economy agenda likewise, has made the counties, sub-counties, and now wards the arena of innovation, job creation, and potential business processing outsourcing by virtue of the last mile fi fiber opt or, uh, connectivity and the development of ICT hubs. I want to tell the good people of Homer Bay County that that program is now rolled over. Your members of parliament have changed the law. I have signed a new law uh, of CDF where it will be possible now to have an ICT hub in every ward in Kenya. And I am looking forward next year, God willing, when we come here for the celebrations that Wanga has asked. <laughs> for the... <laughs> for the Madaraka or uh, Mashuja celebrations that we come here. I will be coming here to see the ICT hubs that will have been built by our members of parliament. And I want to confirm to the people of uh, Homer Bay County, as I do for every other ward in the Republic of Kenya, that as the members of parliament build the ICT wards, we are going to deploy internet, we are going to have gadgets, we are going to have computers, and we are going to have teachers to teach these young people because it is our plan to make sure that we have at least half a million young people working on our digital jobs platform by the end of next year. Na mimi nashukuru kwa sababu wa bunge wetu wako hapa. Unajua nimekuja Homa Bay mara nyingi. Lakini wamekuwa wakinihepa. <laughs> Lakini leo nimewapata. <laughs> si ndio? Na nilikuwa nashangaa sasa hii Homa Bay, mimi nimekuja tukafanya mambo ya soko hapa. Mimi nikakuja tena, nikakuja mambo ya paya, nikawaambia nika tutajenga paya. Nikakuja nikawaambia tutajenga fish market. Sini kweli? Nikakuja nikawaambia tutafanya affordable housing. Na hiyo mambo yote inaendelea ama iendelee? Ilikuwa ni story ama ni ukweli? Si mambo iko hapa inaendelea? 
yule mwenye macho aambi vitazama ama namna gani so mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi wetu nafasi ya siasa tulikamilisha nafasi iliyoko sasa ni sisi kama viongozi tuungane tushirikiane ndio tufanye kazi ile tuliwaahidi hawa wananchi na mimi vile nilisema pale mbeleni mimi niko tayari kushirikiana na viongozi wote ambao wako tayari tufanye kazi ya wananchi na hiyo kazi tutashirikiana mimi nawaomba waheshimiwa kwa sababu sasa tumepitisha e, sheria mpya ya CDF mtakuwa sasa na pesa ya kujenga ICT hub nia yangu ni kuhakikisha kwamba vijana 200300 kila ward hapa Homa Bay na Kenya mzima watakuwa na kazi baada ya miezi sita mkimaliza hizo ICT hubs tunaelewana jameni with increased activity in many agro industrial value chains and let me say this because it is important for Homa Bay Homa Bay is among the three counties in Kenya that have applied for a special economic zone license at the county level and i want to congratulate uh, my dear sister <laughs> Gladys Wanga for being among the three <laughs> governors who have given us land we have gazetted and i would be very happy and very proud today to hand over the license and also that we are going to have an operator's license by Victory Farms to begin to operationalize uh, that facility. We are not only doing that in Homa Bay County. We have another six special economic zones across Kenya. We are deploying the first 3 billion shillings to build those six. We are going to work with Homa Bay County also on the special, uh, uh, special economic zone here in uh, Ndiwa. Sina namna hiyo karachuonyo hapa karachuonyo sawa sawa so that particular special economic zone she has requested that she wants electricity i will make sure that in the next two weeks there will be electricity <laughs> na hiyo maneno mengine amesema yeye atafanya si namna hiyo na ile ameniambia nifanye mimi nitafanya Raymond Omolo yuko hapa atahakikisha hiyo kazi imefanyika tunaelewana because we want to do this together and let me tell you the good news is that of the three special economic zones issued to counties two of them are from counties are for counties where women are governors and a friend of mine who is seated here in fact kimani ishungwa has told me we should seriously consider making this Uh, seat of governors a women seat maybe women can do a better job i don't know how <laughs> i don't know how constitutional that is but uh, madam ann waiguru has requested for less she has said they only want 30% i think uh, the men were willing to consider the whole uh, governors <laughs> but since you have asked for 30% we will we will go for 30% So I want to tell the G7 our great women governors that you have my support as you do the wonderful job that you are already doing you are my support women governors you guys are doing a wonderful job and I want to encourage others if you have a chance to elect a woman governor don't squander that chance elect a woman governor Let me also say here in uh, Homa Bay County we have already concluded the county aggregation and industrial park with the county government we have deployed the necessary resources because we want to achieve several things na mimi nataka wale waheshimiwa wako hapa wanisikize vizuri tuko na mambo manne ya muhimu ambayo lazima tufanye kama wa Kenya tuachane na vyama kwanza kando tuachane na mashindano kando tukubaliane kwanza transformation ya Kenya itafanyika kwa njia gani ya kwanza ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunatatua tatizo la food security ama kupatikana chakula ya kutosha katika taifa letu la Kenya tuondoe aibu ya njaa we must never be 
a country that cannot feed itself. And we cannot do much on empty stomachs. We have to feed ourselves so that we can do that which we are planning to do. And that is why it is important that we work together to make sure that we produce enough food. And we must work with our farmers. And the plan that we have already deployed has shown results. Last year, for example, on maize, we produced 44 million bags. This year, we have taken it to 67 million bags. Our plan is that the end of this year, we must take it to 80 million bags. We must stop importing food into Kenya. We must grow it. Let me say the following. That it is not just food that we are, um, uh, it's not just maize. Actually, we are spending 500 billion Kenya shillings every year to import food. That is not good news at all. We need to deal with that challenge of importing food into Kenya. We need to grow our food and save ourselves the 500 billion uh, Kenya shillings. We cannot continue to import maize. We are importing rice. We are importing wheat. We are importing edible oil. We are importing uh, sugar. We must stop it. And we can only stop it if we grow it locally, if we produce it locally. So the plan we have on producing locally is a great plan. And I am happy that Homer Bay County is among the counties that is working with us on this journey towards making sure that we reduce on imports of food into our country. One of the areas is the one uh, my good uh, uh, brother Mvuria has mentioned. Here, blue economy, we decided that blue economy is going to be among the areas we are going to invest in because we have a potential of a billion point, actually one billion dollars just to produce if we, if we focus on our blue economy. And it is the reason why the great people, Ben Suda and Ragawan Skize. It is the reason why in this leg front, we are putting up, and Mvuria is here, he's going to explain to you in greater detail, 11 landing, fish landing sites. When I told the people of Hema Bay we are going to build a fish market here, they may not have believed me, but I want to tell you in the next four months, that fish market will be ready. I told you we are going to build a, a pyre here. I want to promise you that in another four months, that pyre will be complete. I am now telling you we are investing another 1.5 billion Kenya shillings on 11 uh, fish landing sites along this lake. We are going to build a fish landing site at Nyandiwa, down the road, uh, you know where Nyandiwa is. We are going to build another one in uh, Wakula, you know where Wakula is. We are going to build another one is my, in, what? Mainuga, you know where that is. That is just in Homa Bay. And then in the rest of the other five counties at the lake. And it is because we identify the blue economy as a source of food, as a source of helping us to reduce the importation of food into Kenya. I also want to say that last year, we imported 500 metric tons of sunflower seed. I am very happy that Homer Bay County was among the counties that are working with us on seed multiplication. I have instructed uh, Calro to set up a, a seed multiplication uh, facility on 500 acres here in Homer Bay County, so that Homer Bay County begin to contribute to the seed production in Kenya. Our plan is that this year, what do Homer Bay plans here? This year, we want to put 200,000 acres under sunflower this year, and we want Homer Bay to be front and center as we go in that direction. I am very happy that an MOU is going to be signed tomorrow between the counties of Homer Bay and Migori on matters uh, palm oil. Again, in that space, that is the trajectory we are looking at because we are spending a billion dollars 
almost 140 billion shillings importing edible oil in Kenya. I want to promise you that our plan is that in five years, we will not be importing edible oil to Kenya. We will be producing it here from palm oil to canola to soya to sunflower. We have a comprehensive plan and the secretariat in my office is working with counties to make sure that this is achieved. And my staff from that secretariat, I'm sure they are in this, uh, in this forum. Kuna watu kutoka pets from uh, here? Yes, they are here and they are going to have a conversation with the county because we have been working with them to make sure that every county participates, especially those counties that have the kind of potential we are looking at. I want to commend Homer Bay County for emerging as a determined fast mover in many of these partnerships. This has enabled the county to showcase to the nation, region, and the world the first opportunities awaiting investment in order to create thousands of jobs and create billions of shillings in money and wealth. Apart from demonstrating the effective leadership, that effective leadership can transcend the politics of the day, Homer Bay has opened the eyes of our nation to the splendor and bounty that Homer Bay is endowed with. The investment con this investment conference now is in its second year and has defined these endowments into attractive investments in diverse value chains. From tourism and hospitality, the blue economy, several competitive agro-industrial subsectors, as well as housing and ICT. It is true that as suggested by the theme of this year's conference, the opportunities in Homer Bay County are not just limitless, they are also endless. So, tuendele na iyo kazi kabisa. From the meticulous showcasing of bankable investment opportunities in a broad range of value chains to the evident surge in industrial and economic activity throughout the country, as well as the international engagement with partners at all levels of the public and private sector, locally and abroad, Homer Bay is taking undeniable and unstoppable steps to emerge as our nation's and region center of vigorous economic activity. And I want to commend um, the people of the county of Homer Bay. You won the Hustler Cup this year. Was it last year? The end of last year. You have demonstrated that you love your county. And I want to ask the people of Homer Bay County, support your government support the county government of Homer Bay. I am very happy that Gladys is walking in the steps of true leadership. She found revenue to this county at 195, she just told me, 195 million shillings. She has pushed that revenue last year to 650 million. She tells me she is already past 600 million and she is targeting a billion shillings this year. Because she knows without revenue, without collecting revenue, she cannot achieve the targets that Homer Bay County and the aspirations of the people of Homer Bay County want, her, want out of her. So it is also important for us as a nation to know that we cannot grow our country through accumulation of debt. We are going to grow our country by raising our revenues the way Homer Bay County is doing. So, wale watu wananiulisa maswali mingi, wakuja wasome kutoka kwa Gladys. Sindio? Naona kaluma hapo hame. Uh, I commend the county government of Homer Bay under the leadership of Governor Wanga and her team for the good work that is being done and for successfully hosting this conference. I am particularly encouraged by your proactive attitude 
two opportunities for development, and I urge you to keep up the leadership, teamwork, and drive in order to deliver for the people of Homa Bay, because when Homa Bay wins, Kenya wins. I encourage all investors to move with confidence and engage with the opportunities presented by the county in this conference. The national government stands ready to do its part in facilitating investment at the counties and in leveraging the existing partnership with Homa Bay to provide investors with the best chance to create jobs, create wealth, and expand their enterprises. I am very confident that uh, the more we do this together, the better our country will be. We must all understand, the people of Homa Bay must understand that each and every person has a contribution to make for Homa Bay to be a great county. And it is the same. Each and every Kenyan has a contribution to make for us to be the great country that we all want Kenya to be. And therefore, it takes commitment, it takes sacrifice, it takes hard work, it takes working together, collaboration, unity, and pulling together for us to take our country to the next level. I want to tell Kenya from Homa Bay that we have a great country. It is our duty, it is our responsibility to make it greater. And each and every one of us has a contribution to make. I want to ask leaders, those of us who have the privilege to be leaders in Kenya, we are not, the, we are not necessarily the best. It's just that we have an opportunity. Let us work together. Let us build the spirit of unity together. Let us forge what will make this country a better country for all of us. As we discuss the opportunities in Homa Bay, we will be discussing the opportunities in all the other 47 counties, and they are immense. It is for us to work towards building an environment that will give investors the confidence to invest in our country so that, as I said, we can transform the potential that we have into opportunity and move the opportunities into investments that will then unlock the job opportunities, unlock the wealth creation, and take our country to the next level. So, uh, friends, let me say I am truly delighted to be here. I am sorry I would have come earlier. I tried to excuse myself from uh, coming to Homer Bay this time, but it was not possible, you know. Uh, how difficult it is to say no to Gladys. <laughs> and uh, so uh, she made sure that she called everybody around me and I didn't have peace. <laughs> so I just had to come. Uh, so because I have another engagement, I will not be uh, in a position to take long and to be here. But I want to say that uh, to the people of Homa Bay, uh, we will work with you. We will work with the county government of Homa Bay as we work with the others to make sure that our country is greater. Um, when I came for the campaigns, <clears throat> I slept here. I am, I am probably the only uh, presidential candidate in independent Kenya who does not come from this region, who came and campaigned and slept in Omabe. <laughs> and there are things I told you guys, and you thought it was a joke. Now you can see it is not a joke. Sendio. Niliwaambia tutapanga maneno kabisa na hakuna mtu atakuwa loser kwa hii kitu. Tutapanga ndio kila mtu apate ka sehemu kidogo ndio tuende mbele. Sindio? Sindio nilisema pale. Pale kwa soko. Eh, amuku niamini siku hiyo lakini sasa maneno inaendelea namna hiyo. So, na tunaomba Mungu ikae namna hiyo. Because I remember very well I told you that time that uh, we, we want to unify the country. We want to work together towards the unity of Kenya. And that is important to all of us, you know? And, and there is space for all of us in Kenya. You do not win by making others lose. We want a win-win 
outcome for all of us. We all want to be winners because those in the opposition must mean well for Kenya. Those in government must mean well for Kenya. But there are no citizens who are in the opposition or Kenyans who are in the other side. It is only these leaders who have a job to do something in parliament. But all Kenyans are on the same side. We belong to one nation and we have one goal to make Kenya a great country that we can bequeath to our children who will come after us. So, watu wa Homa Bay, asante ni sana. Mimi nimefurai kufika hapa. Mutani samehe, sita kuwa na njini mdamurefu. Lakini vile tumekubaliana, tutakuja hapa eh, mwaka ujao kwa mambo ya mashuja. Alafu hiyo mambo ingine, tutasema wakati huo. So, asante ni sana. Mungu awabariki, tunawapenda sana. Na tutarudi wakati huo mwingine. Thank you very much and God bless you. Tumpongeze Rais Tafadhali. And uh, the other manenos, we will talk in another forum. 